you know, at the start of this, I've got to know you incredibly well over the years. <laughs> we've agreed on many things. We've disagreed on many things. Uh, but, of course, there is one part of your life that I want you to share with yeah. our viewers, which and I think you said to me once, you're never more than a phone call away. No. From your life completely changing. Yeah. So, and, and the reason I want to have this story is not because of the awfulness, but because actually it's led to some good things. Hugely good things, yeah. There was in, in April uh, 2007, a bus went out of control in, in uh, South West London where we were living and it did hit my, my, my wife, Sarah, and uh, our daughter, Pollyanna, and uh, Sarah's mum. Killed Sarah's mum, Pollyanna lost a leg and Sarah's body binjured. And it was, uh, your world just atomises. And you were literally at my desk. I was at my office at the Telegraph, ran out, um, went back and tried to con- deal with um, a- appalling, appalling uh situation there at the scene and trying to just get child caring for the other two kids my parents are live in Liverpool it was a disaster so um I think you know it's you know time really slowed down I think as we as I got through that period I know you'd be in, in your plane crash you remember this don't you when you you know you but that was to easy. Deal. but that was easier that was me having to deal with it yeah yeah I was trying you know, to hold all together you're talking about yeah. a young two-year-old yeah. daughter a mother-in-law I mean, that's been killed yeah. and a wife that's I mean it's much harder when it's other people much harder but we've we haven't really reflected too much on it we have Obviously, we talk about it. I wrote about it in the Telegraph. That was hugely uh, uh, cathartic for me. Uh, Reader sponsored Sarah, my wife, to run a, a half marathon. That led to about £120,000 being raised. Um, we took some of that money, gave it to a different charity, and then we set up our own charity called Elizabeth Legacy of Hope, which ra- raises money for amputee kids in India and Africa. And Sarah, you know, she's amazing. She campaigns for running blades on the NHS. Previously, the NHS gave you uh, wooden legs if you're an amputee to get you mobile. That's why you get crutches at the NHS hospital. Yep. Yep. But, but with extra money from George Osborne in but two budgets, they paid money for these running blades for kids to run around and play with their friends. And Sarah uh, sets up this, uh, the Sarah Hope line, which works with bus drivers to make the roads safer, an instant support line. So, and she and got an MBE last week. And she got the MBE yeah, last week. That's well, right. well done, well, Thank her. you. Cheers, I, sir. Cheers, Hope. I think that's an amazing <laughs> achievement. Yeah. And Pollyanna, mm. who was so little at the time, yeah. and who I've managed to meet a couple of times. You have, you have, yeah. And what an advert for young children going through yeah. adversity. Just, uh, just dances now, great dancer. Um, on point, on a point leg, especially made. So she's, um, yeah, I think, you know, I think um, it puts, you know, some things into some, some perspective. I think, you know, we look at Ukraine, we see the horrors there, you know, and it's just starting getting through that because, of course, you live with this, uh, you know, just getting through initially is the easier part, but dealing with the legacy of those things is harder.